Hi and welcome to this video about the difference between quantitative and qualitative data. So you can see from our key ideas here that you need to know the difference between the two, you need to know that they have advantages and disadvantages and that that data is presented differently. Okay. Um, for the areas of learning you can also see that we will be building on this knowledge <clears throat> and so in order to understand what's going to come you need to understand the difference between qualitative and quantitative data. Okay, so um, there are three different investigation designs. Okay, we've got experimental, quantitative, observational, and qualitative. Um, and this is where you're going to find that background knowledge for these. So quantitative data is numerical information about the quantity or amount of what is being studied. Okay, so here you are dealing with numbers and quantities. So it could be things like height, weight, percentages, reaction times, and blood pressure. Okay, they are quantities you are measuring, um, and you will always get a number as a response there. The advantages to quantitative data is, number one, the data isn't affected by researcher bias. You know, you can't say, oh, I think their blood pressure is around about this. You know, you're going to get that, that absolute accurate figure. Um, it's also easier to compare and generalize. You know, you can do a lot of um, really cool stuff with statistics. You can put it in graphs and tables, and it's quite easy to compare, um, which is why often in society people are more drawn to numbers than, I guess, to explanations. Okay? Disadvantages. It's often not possible. So if you're trying to understand the reason behind a particular psychological phenomenon or phenomena, you are not going to get enough data from quantitative data. Okay, it can also limit and restrict participant responses. Now, I think if you are asked about a really controversial or tricky or complex problem and you are asked to give um, a response from 1 to 10 or a yes or a no, you are very limited as to what you can actually, I guess, explain. This is also the case for the researchers who can only go from the numbers that they're given. Now, let's look at qualitative data here. This is where we're talking about information about the qualities or characteristics of what is being studied. So where quantitative data was about numbers, qualitative data is about words and pictures and descriptions and meanings. Okay, so where quantity was for qualitative, uh, quantitative, sorry, with qualitative we're looking at quality. Now, as you can tell already from my speaking, it can be very easy to jumble the two up. So you need to just constantly check that you are writing the, the correct one and always think the T, I like to think of that as a little plus sign in my brain when I'm writing it, if it's about numbers you're using quantitative. Okay. Um, now some advantages of qualitative is that you can have unrestricted responses. People can say what they want, they can explain themselves the way they want without being restricted to using numbers. And you can also get information that isn't possible through other methods. Now some disadvantages. Now the researcher is always going to impose some meaning when they interpret what is being said. So if you as a participant haven't explained yourself well, the researcher can kind of interpret what you've said and maybe they get it wrong and that's going to impact the results as well. Okay, so Here's a bit of a, um, just a funny image for you. So we've got a qualitative rap on the left. See if you can guess which song this is from. So the butt was approximately spherical in shape, light brown and firm yet yielding to pressure. Okay, that's our qualitative rap on the left. Our quantitative rap on the right. Numerous attempts were made to measure the volume, density and elasticity of the butt. However, the subject refused repeatedly and became hostile. Okay, so you can see that... Um, from this song, they're trying to pull apart the different ways that you might measure this kind of situation. Okay, so should you be using qualitative or quantitative data? So I guess the good thing about using qualitative data, this is good for understanding meanings, experiences and reasons behind things and you can get a lot more meaningful, rich data. Okay. On the other hand, you would use quantitative when you want to make comparisons between things, when you are measuring things, and it provides data that's easy to compare and analyze statistically. All right, if you would like any more information, as always, please see me or the textbooks or the website. See you next time.